Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the maximum score after splitting a string problem. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1422. So in the given problem we are given with a string s of zeros and ones and we have to return the maximum score after splitting the string into two non-empty substrings a left substring and a right substring such that the score after splitting the string in the number of zeros in the left plus number of uh, ones in the right is maximum. So the task is to split a binary string into two non-empty substrings and maximize the score based on the given criteria. And the score is calculated as the sum of number of zeros in the left substring and the sum of number of zeros in the right substring. And the total sum is returned. So let's see through an example. So if the string is s equal to 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So if we put a partition after 0, so the maximum score is 5 because there are 1, 0 in the left substring and 4, 1s in the right substring. Similarly, if we take the left substring to be 0, 1, so the left score is 1, right score is 3, total score become 4. If we take the left substring to be 0, 1, 1 and the right to be 1, 0, 1, the score becomes 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and similarly if you take uh, only one character in the right and all the characters in the left the score becomes 2 plus 1 because there are two zeros in the left and one one in the right so it becomes 3 so we have to return the maximum possible answer so that will be returned by the first uh, substring so yes we can do this so let's see through a dry run of an example how we are going to do this so for this we will be needing some variables such as the length to store the length of the input string the ones to count the number of ones in the string temporary score this will actually score the score in cases where the number of zeros are more than number of ones so the temp score will help us to find the score in that case and the score is the maximum score achieved so far. So that will be used to return the answer. So let's see. We'll iterate over the string in the before the first iteration. So the temporary store is uh, initialized with one. The number of ones is initialized with zero, and the score is initialized with temporary score. Okay. In the first iteration, we encounter one. We put the increment the ones and de decrement the temporary score then again one comes increment one decrement temp score again one increment one decrement temp score then comes zero so increment the temp score and do not touch anything else so it becomes minus one three and one and at the end we again counter in one so it becomes minus two so the number of ones here is this is actually three. There is a mistake over here. So please. So this will be three. The number of ones will be three. And uh, the score here will be achieved will be one. And since the last character this this is one. So we can do uh, we will add one. So the final answer becomes 5. So this is how we are going to solve this. So let's come to the code section. But before that, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel.
So all the variables are defined. Now we have to iterate over the string. So we'll iterate from i equal to one and one character less. So i less than length minus one minus uh, one actually. If s dot cat at i equal equal to zero temp score plus plus else once plus plus and temp score minus minus okay, this is the logic and uh, we have to check if this will be checked in the loop if the temp score at any point will becomes greater than the score and the score becomes the temp score this is equal to 1 we'll add a 1 else we'll add a 0 and finally we can return the 1 score so let's try to uh, submit it for the sample test cases there will be an error So yeah, all the sample test cases are passed. Let's run for the hidden test cases. So the hidden test cases are also passed with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are performing only a single pass over the string. And space complexity is O of n because we are not using any extra space except for few variables. So I hope you understood the logic. You can also check the C++, Java, and Java, JavaScript, Python codes in the solutions panel by going into the solutions panel. This is my solution. You can go here, see the example, intuition, approach, the code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember me to afford. I hope you understood the logic. So thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Do like the video, share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you friends.